The Macon chapter of the NAACP says they are on standby as a 14 year old Macon teen is scheduled to be in Jones County Court tomorrow. The chapter held a news conference this afternoon. Now the boy is said to have a disposition hearing after his parents say he was found guilty relating to a March burglary, but the parents say their son is innocent. Ashlyn Webb spoke to the chapter and the parents who claim they have been forced out of the loop on their son's case. Records of this case could not be released because it deals with a juvenile. However, the parents of the 14 year old boy say their son was convicted relating to a burglary in March. But they said leading up to that, they were restricted from information relating to his case. Uh, I, I asked him uh, why he didn't uh, communicate with us about it. And he said he didn't have to communicate with us because we're not his client. He said my son is his client. Julia Geary and Robert Timley claim that since their son's arrest in March, they've been reaching out to the public defender's office for information daily, but with little response from their son's lawyer. According to an incident report, Jones County deputies were called to the Okmulgee gun and pawn shop on Highway 49 on March 28th relating to an active burglary. The parents say their son was charged with burglary and a month later was found guilty. He never got with us to prepare for the case. Timley says the public defender's office later let him know that his son was offered a plea bargain. He said my son turned it down and I told him my son is only 14 and uh, he don't even know what a plea bargain is. So on May 3rd, the parents say they filed an ineffective assistance of counsel claim with the juvenile court clerk's office against Taylor Phillips, an attorney through the public defender's office who represents their son. He, he t asked me why his lawyer hasn't talked to him because the other kids tell them what their situation is and he's wondering why he's not getting the same treatment. The 14 year old boy is scheduled for a disposition hearing to hear the possible consequences Tuesday morning. The Megan NAACP says now they're on standby to take action depending on the outcome of the case. The parents should be involved in their uh, in their son's uh, case. They should be notified because he is a minor so that according to the parents that they were left out of the loop. Their son has been convicted of a uh, of a crime because they violated my son's civil rights and they violate his human rights. We reached out to the public defender's office. Taylor Phillips, who represents the boy, says he did not wish to comment. Reporting in Jones County, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. And we also reached out to the district attorney's office and Judge Kelly Rutherford's office. She the she's the Jones County juvenile judge and both do not want to respond.